hello everyone and welcome thank you so much for being here my name is maggie also known as mocha latte and welcome to my very first ever knitting crochet podcast i am so excited um i just figured i would share all of my crochet and knitting projects and finished objects things i'm currently working on and not only that, but I want to talk about video games and books and movies and TV shows and everything that I am obsessed with because I know there's someone out there just like me who's like, yes. So thanks again for stopping by and for your time and grab yourself your favorite cozy drink. Today I'm drinking a uh, Zen tea by Tezo. It is green tea with lemongrass and spearmint and it is so good it's like a cup of fresh air it's just so good it's my favorite and so let's just dive right in to all of the projects so first project that i finished for 2023 are my pink socks I love this color. Um, I cannot remember the dyer's name, but I can link it below. I just remember that the color was called Pygmy Puff, and it's so cute. Here's the second one. I only have one sock blocker, so, but I love them. They're so good. So that is my first object finished of 2023. My first cast on for 2023 socks of course um this is my harry potter bag by uh, amelia joy i can link her etsy below she makes the cutest bags and my sister got me this one for christmas one year and i love it so my first cast on <clears throat> are these beautiful blue beautiful blue socks um, I knit all of my socks on 9 inch circulars with a 2.25 millimeter. I always do cuff down um, and I just recently started doing a 2x2 two two pearl rib for the cuff which I always did a uh, knit one pearl one and I'm just trying out something new. And I uh, always do an afterthought heel. Um, I've tried to mess around with the heel flap and gussets when I first knit socks and it was horrible. So I looked for different ways, you know, to do socks and I just found the afterthought heel was my favorite way. Um, so I just always do cuff down and a tube and, you know, close the toe and then go back and do an afterthought heel. But so these are my January socks. Um, I just finished one i just have to go back in and put the heel in and then this shouldn't take me too long and then i'll just go back and add the heels and my january socks will be done and then i started a pair of valentine's day socks i was gonna wait till february but i can never wait to cast on socks so these are the start of my valentine's day socks i am obsessed um so i guess i should link all the yarn <laughs> that i've been using down below um for socks i usually buy from like small businesses uh when i make my socks so i can link down below all of the sock yarn that you see um how cute i just did a pop of color for like the um cuff and then I'm just trying to use up um, some scraps, like this color is a scrap and this like pink, dark pink stripe. So I'm just trying to be creative. I think I might go back in and put hearts on this part. I think that would look really cute. And I'm gonna do a red heel and toe for these. So I love them, I think they're so cute and I've been having a lot of fun working on them. So those are the only sock whips that I have going at the moment. Uh, it usually takes me it takes me about a month to complete a pair because I always have so many other projects and I just try to, to work on work on them here and there as I can. So those are my current socks. 
Uh, next, I am working on a knit cow, which I think I started this in November of last year because I saw the yarn and I loved it. And but it's taking me forever to finish this. So this is going to be a knit cow. I am obsessed with these colors. I don't know why, but it gives me Molly, we Molly Weasley vibes. Like this is something she would knit. I don't know why, I just love it so much. So this is just gonna be a cow. It shouldn't take me that much longer. It's just, I just haven't felt like working on it. So it's kind of just got set to the side. Um, this yarn is Red Heart Roll With It. Uh, and the color, let's see. Showtime is the colorway. I just love it. I think it's such a fun, unique, just whole bunch of colors together. Here's that. So this is a project that I have been, uh, or that I just recently started. Um, I have so many sock yarn scraps. I just have a whole bin full of them and I was trying to think what am I going to make with these? I can make, you know, sock, extra socks and gift socks. And then I saw Nitty Natty shared she was making a granny stripe blanket with her scraps. And I was like, I need to do that. That is perfect and it's beautiful. So I started it and I am obsessed. Oh, isn't it so pretty? So I did two rows of each color in the granny stripe pattern. I can also link that below to where I found it. It's a very, very easy pattern. But I just love this so much because it's just like, when I knit socks, I take them with me everywhere. I take them to work, I take them to family gatherings, to friend hangouts, like literally everywhere. So every row, it's just like a memory and I just love it so much. I love it. This will probably take me probably five plus years to finish because it's fingering weight yarn so it's gonna take me forever but I'm okay with that. It's like a nice relaxing project like if I'm feeling anxious or whatever I can just pull this out and do a few rows. So I'm super excited for that. Okay so my next January project that I started was a sweater I should say is a sweater um, I'll just show you the first panel oh. so I am making a just a long sleeve sweater with a turtleneck uh, collar and I just used a I didn't follow a pattern for this it's I'm just making it up as I go which I usually do for most of my uh, crochet garments. I just like to freehand and have fun with it. So this is just a single crochet back loop to make the rib like the ribbed panel. So this is the front panel and I'm almost finished with the back panel and then I'll make the sleeves and the collar and then I'll sew it together and hopefully it just fits. But this color is um, it's called lavender blue. It is by um, Karen Simply Soft. Most of the yarn that I get for my like crochet garments, I usually just go to my local Joann's or Michael's because um, they're the cheapest and when I have a project in my mind that I'm ready to make, I'm like, I need this yarn right now. <laughs> so so that is my January sweater. I figured it's it fits like for January. It's a nice lavender blue color. I feel like the turtleneck um, collar will just be so cozy and warm and I cannot wait to finish it and show you guys. So that are, is all of my crochet and knitting projects right now. Um, I can't believe the year has, I can't believe it's 2023. It's crazy to me, but so for my next non-yarn related project, um, I love to do cross stitches. I don't do them too often. Um, because once I make one, I need like a long break because like they're very tedious work. Um, but right now I am currently working on one. It's kind of, it is a, um, from the anime Fruits Basket. Um, and it will have like three of the characters and it's probably going to take me all year to make because cross stitch takes forever. 
but I'm really excited about that and maybe I can update you on my progress as I go. I honestly haven't worked on this since I bought the pattern off Etsy like the beginning of January. So, so that's my cross stitch. All right, next, let's talk about video games. Um, I love video games. Um, it is something my husband and I love to do together and something we both just equally love. And um, I play a lot of games on my Nintendo Switch. I love Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, just like cozy games like that. I have recently been playing Disney Dreamlight Valley and it is just so cute. So, so cute. And I just feel like there's constantly so much to do in that game that it keeps my interest peaked. So I've been playing that a lot. Um, always Animal Crossing. Always working on my Animal Crossing Island. Um, my husband and I love to play Guild Wars 2 together. Um, we definitely get into phases, like we won't play for months and months and months. And then usually around like the end of fall, winter time, we like dive back in and we're obsessed. So we've been, been playing that a lot um, here and there. Um, I think that's all for video games right now. I know that that might be a little bit boring, um, but maybe I could do like a separate video that kind of goes deeper into that. Um, I guess next we could talk about books because I know a lot of people love to read. Um, I, I will read pretty much anything to be honest. Um, I do love manga. Um, I have recently finished, um, the series that wolf boy is mine oh my gosh it was so so adorable it was just like it just made my heart swoon i loved it so much um so i definitely recommend that if you like manga it's definitely like a i would consider it like romantic comedy kind of but it's very cute so that was a manga that i finished um recently and then I picked up another manga. It's called Prince, sorry if there's a glare, Prince Freya. Um, I'm only on the first volume and it's really, I, I like it a lot. I don't want to spoil it because in case you want to read it, but it's, it's very good. So that's what I am currently reading now in the manga world. <laughs> um, I had just recently finished um, Ice Planet Barbarians. I'm, two of my friends recently recommended this series and so I bought the first book and I finished it in like two days so good it's very spicy and then so I finished the first one and I'm on the second one I think there's like I'm pretty sure there's like 10 books which is a, can be a lot but they're not they're not very big books either so I I think they're really good they without any spoilers it kind of just follows, every book follows each character's point of view, storyline, I guess you could say. So lots of characters, lots of books, <laughs> but very good overall, I think. Um, so that's it for books. I think, I think that covers everything for today's video. Um, once again, thank you so much for, if you made it this far, thank you for sticking around and listening to me ramble. Um, but this is just a few things that I thought I would like to share. And if you want to comment down below what you're working on, what you're reading, if you play video games, what games do you play? I love to hear it all. So enjoy your day. I hope you have a cozy rest of your day and thank you so much for being here.